Who are your curly hair inspirations or icons? Okay, first my mom. Welcome to my bathroom. <laughs> I was going to give you free to smell. Hello everyone. Welcome to my bathroom. <laughs> my name is Marika if you don't know me, and I'm so excited to share with you guys my new curly hair routine. I recently changed my routine and I feel like my hair has been so much shinier, healthier, everything better. It's just it has been better so i'm so excited to share with you guys my new products things i started doing fun fact recently i cut in my hair he's way shorter than usual and i feel like now he's really healthy and personally when it comes to cutting my hair what i usually do is i cut it twice a year so one in the beginning of summer and the other one in the end of summer because the hair is all dry and Personally, my hair gets really blonde in the ends because of the sun and the salt and everything. So cutting my hair is really important to keep it healthy and also to make it grow a lot. My hair grows so quickly. So two times a year, I cut it. And imagine, I just go to a local shop. I pay literally 20 euros and I leave the place looking like a lion because they don't finalize my hair. They just cut it. They wash it. They cut it. Then I come home. I wet my hair again, I don't I don't wash it, but I put a bunch of water, like 90% of the hair is wet and I do the curly hair routine that I will show you and then my hair looks amazing after the hairdresser so yeah, when it comes to cutting your hair, it's okay to cut your hair uh, recommendations, if you're scared about like the size, they will cut you like, will they cut too much? I always recommend asking two fingers lower than you actually want because it's way probable that um, the hairdresser will cut the extra two fingers so you know it's better to cut a bit lower and keep insisting that you don't want your hair too short i will try to reply to some questions this is really silly but um since i don't have that many followers i didn't have any questions so i asked ChatGPT to ask me questions and the questions were really good so i will reply to some of them and let's start this routine okay so the first thing that i do is the pre-shower stuff let's start so first of all i apply a mascara a mascara i think this is called a mascara one this is in portuguese and in spanish so i don't have english translator but uh, translation sorry but this is from Gaffney. and personally i don't have a big like a choice of mascara like i just get like a hydrating thing for dry hair what i do is I just apply a lot of it through all my hair. This was a tip that a hairdresser gave me because before I used to put the mascara like as the last step in my routine, but then I went to a hairdresser and he told me that I should do this so that my hair doesn't get super dry and everything and he gets hydrated and you can also add oil, I will do that. You can add a bunch of oils on your hair you will take a shower so everything will come out fun fact i only straighten my hair once because i have a very conservative mom basically when i was younger i felt so sad for having curly hair because i don't know it's not like i suffered bullying from it but everyone would straighten their hair they, they would have like pretty hair stuff uh hair um, styles <laughs> and i couldn't do anything like not even braids would last on my hair so a bunch of times i asked my mom like can i straighten my hair and my mom she has curly hair she only straightened her hair like three times and it was for weddings and she always would tell me that her hair will look like a cow licked it and i was always so like you know like in a way she made me feel good for having my hair she would be like you look healthier with that hair and then i like god gave you that hair so i embraced it eventually and i just started taking care of it and i feel like nowadays everyone wants to have curly hair and i love that because in a way i feel like it's also my identity you know like brands want to collaborate with me to send me curly hair products and for me to show my routine i receive so many questions like what do you do with your hair what's your routine what products do you use and you know i feel like it's part of my identity because in a way it shows, I feel like it, it even shows confidence, you know, because you are like, you're appreciating your, your natural hair and something that a lot of people, like a type of hair that a lot of people 
neglect. Yeah, right now I just applied this Hyaluronic Serum in my hair. And yeah, we'll just put a tiny timer of five minutes and then we are going to wash everything off. Okay, I have a really fun question. Who are your curly hair inspirations or icons? Okay, first my mom, definitely. Then Julia Roberts. Every time I see pretty woman, I just feel so confident with my curly hair. Like her hair is so pretty. Like, I don't know, sometimes when I dress all elegant with my curly hair, I'm just like, I'm, I'm channeling Julia Roberts glow up moment. I love Pretty Woman. It's one of my favorite movies. And Julia Roberts with her curly hair is just chef kiss. What's the best compliment you've received about your curly hair? First, recently, everyone keeps telling me that my hair looks so shiny, like so beautiful, and I love that. But since I was a child, not a child, but like since I was like 12, I've been told that like they can recognize me by the smell of my hair, that my hair, that my hair smells so good. And I love that so much because I feel that's actually like a curly hair person thing is that like all of our products smell so, so good. And I love that. What's your favorite way to style your curls for a special occasion? So this is a hard thing for me. Personally, I'm still trying to figure out hairstyles that I can wear for special occasions. But to be fair, I'm young. So I haven't started my wedding phase when I was younger. Like I had family members getting married and special events like with family. So I would do braids or I would just like have my normal hair. I think the last time that like I did something crazy to my hair was for prom. I straightened my hair, but like I didn't do it with, with a straightener. Uh, I did it with the brush and it was like a hairdresser that did it to me. So it didn't last. It didn't last like it lasted two hours afterwards like all of my back hair was already curled up and it looked very 90s but i have layers on my hair and i have like the u kind of shape which i recommend if you have curly hair don't cut it like this do a u shape do layers that's what looks good with curly hair and when you straighten it it looks really weird like at least for me it looked weird i didn't like it so I just embrace my curly hair. Now I'm going to wash my hair. The alarm just went off and I'm going to use these two products. So this brand actually sent me the whole thing. They aren't paying me or anything. They were like, test it girl. And I've been loving it. First, it's uh, honey and argan oil. So it smells divine. I love it so much. And this is a gentle cleansing, softness and shine. And I believe this because my hair has been so shiny. So I love that. And then we have the conditioner, which gives hydration, softness, and shine. We love shine. This is from Salon Line. Then, as I'm so sad, this is almost over, but this is also a secret of mine to have shiny hair. It's a hair vinegar from Yves Rocher. Can you see my sad face? It's almost over. So this is the last step on your shower. So basically, like you wash your hair with all of your normal products, then you wash that off. You put this like in all of your hair, you wash it and you can leave the shower and this smells so good. That's it guys, now I'm going to wash my hair and I will see you in a tiny bit. Hey everyone, I am back from my shower, I mean my robe and to be fair, I've been out of the shower for like 30 minutes but it's lunch time so I had to start preparing my lunch and it was a mistake. Recently I found out that the secret to have non-freezy hair it's having your hair completely dropping water, you know? That's the secret and you do your hair care routine with your hair like that. So what I'm going to do right now is just spray a bit of water. I know this looks like a product, but I swear, like I finished the product and I just put water inside. So it's just water and I'm just going to fill it up with water. So now our hair is totally wet and you might ask me, Monica, but how do you come curly hair so you should only comb your hair after your shower so when it's completely wet and you've put conditioner it's really important to put conditioner and if you're doing this in your room it's important that you have a trash can close to you <laughs> so you can throw away all of your hairs they will fall out it's it's normal guys and yeah now that my hair is all full of water i can comb it with no worries you can see it just slides through and this is also the moment for
for you to do your line i put it like i mean between but more for one side let me just go to my mirror i'm back and i think my line now is correct like i just go like this and then it just naturally falls through now i'm going to put the combing cream i'm using this one from the same line but you can also like before i used to just use the ones from the supermarket this one smells really really good the finishing truly is not the same as because products that are specialized for curly hair like this one doesn't even say curly hair it just says like dry hair but it's still good this one is from Gaffney but I definitely have a preference for this one just take it a bit and I run it over and can you see how long my hair is the curls like when when it's curly just goes up so much next step <laughs> we have the leave-in conditioner it smells so good it's insane uh, again I don't put that much this is enough and now that I have short hair it really is not necessary to put a lot and again I just go like this and now we start scrunching and it's really important that you go close to your roots unless you have an oily type of hair but if you have curly hair it's probable that you have really dry hair so go close to your roots so that you can have also curls on your roots I'm not like you need to hear the scrunchy sound so I'm going to add some more water and you just have to scrunch. You can always like focus on either this side or this side so they can have a bit more volume on one of those. We are going to move forward to the gel. You can use gel or gelatin. It's like aloe vera. <laughs> I was going to give you free to smell. It's aloe vera scented. Scented, I think that's the word. I <laughs> it smells really, really good. I used to, to use gel for the longest time, like since I started defining my hair. I always use gel but then I heard that it's more beneficial for you to use gelatin and now I've tried it and I'm not going back to gel I really like it it's not as heavy on my hair and I feel like the definition lasts way way longer I don't put too much because now we are going to define our hair so like let's start with just a tiny bit and then I'm going to do this and we are going to start this takes a long time but you see I just define my hair like this and this is a time where i put a tv show a movie a youtube video but i try to go to the roots because i've always struggled with my roots like they never have curly hair i'm sorry if i'm doing something weird i feel like my hair should be with more water like don't do the mistake that i did put water let your hair be soaking wet like if possible you can even start doing your routine in the shower sometimes i do that like i comb my hair like i close the water and i start combing my hair with the combing cream can you see the curl is really defined so i have a really important question like how do you freshen up your curls between wash days and the truth guys is water you need water and you need a curly cream you know like either the Garnier one or this fancier one or I've also tried Novex and I really like it like I feel like overall Brazilian products are the best for curly hair hi guys I just wanted to let you know that I'm actually doing a giveaway on my Instagram where I am giving away a curly hair kit and it's from Novex which is another amazing Brazilian hair care brand so if you are from europe you have wavy or curly hair and you want to try some proper brazilian fancy products make sure to go to my instagram and enter the giveaway bye and when it comes to combs i have this one i don't know i just stole it from my mom but i'm pretty sure you can find this type of combs on supermarkets and they're really really good and recommended for curly hair and what i do now is i come like this and i try to separate the hair from my roots so that it has volume. I'm now going to dry my roots. So what I'm going to do is use a heat protection, not heat protection, I think so. It's an all-in-one hair treatment. It has 10 real benefits. Uh, repairs dry and damaged hair, straightens and reduces breakage, conditions and detangles, controls frizz, instant moisturizes, heat protection, which is what we want, boosts shine and protects color if you have colored hair 
a boost shine. That's what I want. I want shine. Softness and manageability helps to prevent split ends and refreshes hairstyle. Cool. I mainly focus on this area because this is where I have a lot of frizz. So it's really important to put here. And this smells so good. And my hairdresser also told me to put in the back because I always forget about my back. I think everyone does. Now I'm just going to dry it a tiny bit and I have a diffuser. The last step in my routine is to add an oil. This is essential if you have curly hair because again, our hair can be really, really dry. I have two options for you guys right now. I've been using the Jizu oil and I love it. It's not very greasy, it feels really good on my hair and it leaves it with such a natural shine, it's amazing. And then I also have this option, I love argan oil. <laughs> this is from OG Ads, it's also a really really good oil but it's, it's more greasy. It's a really nice smell, I really like it, but I prefer the Jizu oil, I'm not gonna lie to you. Like I've been changing in between those two but I feel like the Jizu oil fits way better. What I do is... Like, this is so cute. I just do like this. So, you know, it's full. Wait, I don't want to drop it. I do three max. Three is good for my hair. I do on the ends. And it already looks so much better. We have lunch. I'm going to put on some makeup. It'll look all pretty. And I will come back to you guys once my hair is dry because when he's drying he usually starts getting more beautiful and more defined by himself it's a bit weird but like i look in the mirror when he's drying he looks really good so i will just let it dry and i will in a second bit come show you the end result This is the final result of my curl hair routine. I think around an hour has passed and I feel like my hair truly is dry. You can see that it has really beautiful curls. I love that I look like a, li a little lion and that's really cool. This is how it looks on the back. Probably is not as defined, unfortunately. That kind of always happens to me. But here in the front, I feel like it's beautiful still here it needs some definition but it's all right and i love it i feel like it looks very healthy it looks shiny adorable i love it i hope you liked my routine let me know in the comments if you learned something new if there is something you already do something you don't do but you will start doing because you found it interesting if you've tried this product products recommendations let me know everything want to share in the comments just make sure to be kind i really hope you like this video and in a way motivated you guys to embrace your natural curly hair is kind of my identity you know it's part of my figure and what people know me for if my friends are looking for me on a train they will look for someone with curly hair and stuff around those lines like people will recognize me for my hair and in a way i love that i feel like it really is part of me and i'm grateful i was born with it and i shall take care of my hair that's all guys i really hope you enjoyed this video if you did so don't forget to leave a like and a comment and i'll see you on the next one bye